Hi, my name is Quas from Team Liquid, and this is my soul lane tactics guide to Gangplank versus Ola. In case you didn't do a double jungling, um, level one, levels 1 to 2 would be just placing your barrels in the creep wave, and whenever he gets close enough to last it or uh, just to harass you, you explode the barrel and just get some free harass on him. You're going to be getting pretty good trades as long as you play around your passive. Whenever it's up, you should be trying to trade and use movement speed to get away from him, training you down with his axes. And also, once you get parlay, you should prioritize farming sometimes, but if you see an opportunity to harass him down with the parlays, you can also do that. Levels 3 to 4, you still you want to be more aware of ganks and the possibility of getting ganked, so you should have your W level 3, just to make sure that you're safe from that. And just keeping, your, keeping one barrel uh, at the range mini waves, just in case you get ganked, you have something to run to. Otherwise, you can just keep trading with your passive auto attacks and farming with Qs. Levels 5 to 6, you still want to play the matchup the same way. Um, by that time, you gotta be careful of getting Dove, because he can push you in pretty easily it's most of the time. So, you gotta be careful of um, the enemy jungler setting up a dive on you at those levels. As long as you are keeping healthy and not getting too low, then you should be fine. And Otherwise, you should be still keeping up in CS evenly and trading just fine with him. And once you hit level 6, you gotta remember that you have a global ultimate and you can help your team get kills and set up plays around the map. So make sure you communicate that properly. So the way teamfights are gonna be played out most of the time is Olaf's gonna be running into your carries and try to kill them. So what you can do is you can you can slow him, obviously. So what you should do is you place your ulti to zone out the backline so they can't really follow up on him and go with him to kill your team. So your ultimate is going to act as a pretty good zoning tool and as well as your barrels you just will be able to zone out the backline. That's pretty much how you want to be playing the fights. You can also split push and that's a definitely viable option. For runes per game plank I like to go for 80 marks, scaling health seals, a mix of CDR and magic resist on glyphs and either flat armor quints or flat magic resist quints depending on the matchup. For masters I like to go for a 21-9-0 setup just to maximize your damage on your kit and being it. having some tankiness from the 9 points in defense. For skill order, I like to level 1 take barrels and just do the double jungling. Level 2, you take Q and max Q first, maxing Q, maxing your E second, and W last. Make sure to also take one point of your W at level 3, just in case you get ganked. The crowd control um, cleanse is really useful sometimes against most junglers like Braga, Elise, etc. You can get out of way from ganks pretty easily without getting chunked too hard or having to blow flash. For item build, you want to start with a Doran's Blade and potions that you get from your double jungling gold. And then you buy a Fage first. You just buy a bonus for Fage if you don't have enough. But Fage is your first item you're going to get just to be tankier enough to trade with him and have the movement speed to help you get away from his axes running at you. Afterwards, you just want to finish your Triforce and go in for your core items of like um, CDR boots right after, maybe offensive options like Jomu's Ghost Blade, Infinity Edge. You can also get defensive options like Randuin's, maybe a Spectral Skull if they have some poke. And that's how you want to build them. Just, just most, most offensive items, but also having one or two defensive items as well. Thanks for watching this guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos over at lowclass.com. And you can actually pressure some of the matchups as well. You scale really well into late game, and you can snowball like crazy as well. Do your increased farming once you get Triforce. You can clear the wave in one shot with your EQ.